Welcome back guys, it's Mike with Road of Abundance. Today we have a special guest, it's Lily. So it's one of my friends, I also train her. Uh, and she's Russian, made it from nothing, multi-millionaire. Tell us what you do, like, tell us your background, like where you come from, what exactly, how you call yourself, like what, what's your job and stuff like that and, and stuff you do. Okay, hi guys, I'm Lily. Uh, as my Kim mentioned, I'm from Russia. So I started my road from nothing because we live with my parents in really really tiny apartment in Russia and it's not like you know the regular success story because my, my parents they were really really broke uh, and they were like 18 and um, 19 years old when I when when they got me so I had two younger brothers and I was the older sister so I started work when I was 17 like in real but before I was like hustle hustle and bustle <laughs> doing some some stuff and I was like 13 I was like I was working as a promoter um, and when I, I got 17 I had an image like what what I really wanted to want to do and it was in marketing field so now I I work at a, as a mar marketing consulting uh consultor and I'm doing online marketing education for Russian mostly uh clients for for Russian clients and also I'm doing a lot of online education about um how to make your life better how to earn money um how to make some impact in your life so as um you mentioned i'm pretty successful and this year we already made more than three million um last year it was like the same number so um we're doing good uh, <laughs> it's okay yeah it's okay yeah and i moved to la um four years ago mm -hmm. i had no no idea that i i came up with this but um i just came here as a like just just as a tourist i had a couple of friends here and then i decided like probably i have to stay so um that's my story and also i was overweight uh almost all my life till i got 26. like when you say overweight number. like like overweight like, <laughs> like you were really, 300 yeah. pounds i was three, three, 320 pounds okay. i think something like that 300 40 maybe so yeah over that 300 was, yeah over, <laughs> over 300 and one day i was like okay probably i'm gonna be um main character of the you know tlc um tlc show like my 300 pounds <laughs> like <laughs> something like that yeah so that was crazy and uh, my my career was pretty successful because i was working for different big companies in Russia. I was working in automotive dealership. Um, so, I mean, I was pretty strict with my education, with my career, but not with my body, not with my weight. So it was hard for me to manage it. So you were um, super driven on business, but poor LT habit. So yeah. you were feeling kind of bad, but you had some money already. Like you starting to build your career, not successful like right now, but you had kind of success. Yeah, I was, I was, I mean, in Russia, I was fine, you know, it, it, it wasn't a great success, but still, I, I was uh, like, not, not the CEO, but the chief marketing, yeah. probably in a company, so it's pretty good. But my body was like struggling, and I had a lot of attempts to lose the weight. So, and it was pretty successful because I was strict at the beginning, you know, but it wasn't constantly. So when I had some results, probably, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I, I was uh, uh, raised in Russia, so it's in kilograms, so it's probably 100 pounds. So it's pretty big numbers. You were but losing then, 100 yeah, pounds? I, I, lo I lost 100 pounds and then I get like 120. <laughs> and it was like a roller coaster, you know? Why do you think this was happening? Because, because it wasn't, you know, it was more mentally. Emotional. Uh, I, like... Emotional, yeah. I was over it. Uh, I was like binge Eating eater. Emotion. Yeah, binge eater for whole my life till I got 27 because in, when I got 26, I went to a psychotherapist and we started to work for my like emotional eating, all my habits, all my like 
all my personality and all these questions because, I mean, I was struggling when I was a kid, so it was from the past. Subconscious behavior from yeah. past experience. Mm -hmm. that yeah, because when I was a kid, it was a, you know, it was like a party when we had a lot of food that was like joy for us. Everybody is like that. It's like we reward you with cake, ice cream, you play good sport, I remember. And parents, it's like they been raised like that and we should change it. Like I remember like kids at school, they get cake, chocolate chip cookie. Like when you're good, we buy you pizza. When it's celebration, we buy you food. Mm -hmm. So it's like super bad behavior, subconscious behavior. And we see it with you that... It's happening when you're young, but it's actually stick and you don't know why, but you keep rewarding yourself with comfort food. Yeah, and it's like your, your, your parents trying to motivate you with food. And my parents were broke, as I mentioned, so it was hard for, for them uh, to manage all the expenses. So we had like abundance of food two days a month, and then we were struggling. <laughs> so that was like that. Um, so, uh, and I mean, this behavior, this type of behavior, I say for my adult life, um, I wasn't like, I, I didn't have a lot of money, just like normal amount, but I, I liked, I, I, I used to like to spend it in the restaurants, you know, like restaurant clubs. I, I, I mean, I used to drink. Not a lot, but still, like, you're drinking, you're doing good, <laughs> and then you're, like, trying to stretch the rest of the money for the uh, next paycheck. So, yeah, and <laughs> that was, like, a roller coaster, and I've never, I was like, okay, I'm focused on my career, I don't have any time to put it uh, on my body or yeah, I mean I had a lot of attempts, you know, I started uh, Started going to the gym started working out then I just drop it on sa in, in some point and started be more focused on my career so That that was it and my weight gonna I mean it was growing Growing and growing and growing and then I found out my last attempt. It was pretty successful. I dropped more than 100 60 pounds, I think. So I get, I, I, I've got really, really, like I, I was in a good shape. But that was crazy because I was working out five or six times a week. Like crazy workouts, like okay. four hours, you know, with big weights. Um, I was so like motivated, but then I injured my back and I stopped doing, I, I was doing nothing for a couple months. And I started to eat more. You know, yeah. when you're working out and you eat like normal, yeah. that's that's good. But you, when you are not, and you had this like four hours session, session. Uh, I mean, four free four hours a day. I started yeah. like watching series, <laughs> doing, I mean, doing nothing, working and eating, and I've gained. I, I started to gain weight, and then I've I I, I gained. And also I was like on a breakup, like crazy breakup, uh, and I've gained like all the weight and Again. extra like, <laughs> yeah, and extra, um, at least mm. like 300, uh, 30 pounds, I think. So it was my biggest weight, more than 300. And also my back was, was hurt. hurt as hell. Okay. So I barely could walk. <laughs> like so literally. that people know, um, now you're training with me. We do 45 minute, 50 minute session, and it's way more productive than a four hour session. For sure. I mean, for sure, because I mean, my legs is pretty. Uh, they are pretty strong, but not my upper body. For sure, I know this because I was overweight. You know, you yeah. have at least to, like to walk and, yeah. and carry all this weight. Yeah, and also I had like a lot of uh, person training experience here in LA. And Mikey, you are the the the, <laughs> the most. <laughs> Uh, you are, I mean, a you do it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a, like a Gestapo, you know. Uh, but that's good, that's yeah, good because I, I know that you, you are pushing my limits, mm -hmm. uh, but in a good way because you are careful about my back, yeah, about exactly. my lower back because I have, I still have some issues. So it's for people that don't know, when I train Lily, we, I know that she has a back injury. We're working around. I want to reinforce her core, back, everything. You don't need more than. 45 minute to an hour session that's way better than four hours you need to give your body a break that's why she got injured at the beginning so don't think that because you train more two three four hours it's more efficient we train four or five times a week depending on the time that uh 
and her body. We listen to her body. Someday we schedule a session and if she can't, her body is too tired, we cancel it. And it's good with that. Like we're going to do four or five, you listen to your body and that's how you're going to do the best result without injury. And, um, and also it's long lesson, you know, you are applying yeah, it to exactly. your lifestyle because like even you're working out for four or five hours yeah it was like pretty productive but i was burned out yeah at the at the very end like after the the year mm -hmm. of this like crazy schedule i was burned out as how <laughs> i mean i was uh, i was i was uh, after like a couple months i already started my therapy with psychotherapist and i was crying when she asked me about the healthy eating and going to the gym i just started crying because i was like no no way <laughs> no more no more weights no more like you know i was pretty strict because you went with the too much too. you went yeah. too much and too crazy that's it why was, it was too much when you train and when i train client i bring them i know their limit they don't know it i know it i can see it i have, I have enough experience to see the limit and when i do on even on my app it's like it push you to the limit that you can do without burning yourself and my approach is more like a lifestyle than a super big diet and, and forcing you to stuff because like you said after a while you're just gonna crash which is not gonna be better so if I could ask you like in one sentence what change in your mind from with the psychotherapist with everything what in one sentence that people would be like hey I've tried so many times this made the difference like when I did this that's when I was like okay I'm on the right path and now obviously you're in good shape like of course we're gonna make it better but you didn't gain a hundred something pound back of course yeah um, the main thing for me is you have to apply it to your routine it, it I mean when you are like overweight person as me it's always like up and downs, ups mm -hmm. and downs. And you think like, I'm gonna get to the best shape and then I will do nothing. But <laughs> it, it's, it never could work, you know? So you have it's to apply lifestyle. it. Yeah it's, yeah, it's a lifestyle and I love this lifestyle, especially, I mean, it's so different in Russia because you, we, we have four seasons there. So you are not as active as at summer when it's winter time, yeah. you know, like it's too cold to go outside. But here we have a lot of hikes. We have a lot of <laughs> yeah. options to do. So I love to apply it to my lifestyle. That's at least when we, we, when we are not working out, I can go for a hike or for a long walk and that's like perfect for me so for me it's more about applying it and enjoying the the, the process yeah. not to do it to you you know like push yourself yeah. or punish love yourself love the process like yeah. a business and we see a difference because when you started to apply this lifestyle and you were already making decent money like decent we say like i don't know 60 80 thousand a year like a decent salary but when you started to be lt and we're going to talk about also all the meditation and spirituality behind because i know you're a lot into that so mm -hmm. when you really started to commit and what people would say oh it's a waste of time it's actually investing in your time it's because not this is gonna time, jump you from being normal life to like the stars because you're gonna skip step because you're investing in your health your mental health and your spirituality so You've seen a crazy difference since investing into that. Of course, and I mean, my the the thing that I moved to California changed me a lot because in Russia, when you like can say to your friends like I'm meditating like five years ago, everybody was like what? <laughs> 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 but here I met people who is meditating, and I started digging into it. You know, mm -hmm. just asking them like questions. Why are you looking so good? I have a friend. She is like 40, 45 probably, or 44 now, and she looks like her skin and her body like she is 30 years old, for example. Mm -hmm. So I was asking them, and they said like, yeah, you can you can go and meditate with us. Um, and I started go to Art of Living Foundation, and I've made a lot of meditation course, silence courses. It's like vipassana, but a little slightly different. So it was like my first year here in U.S., and also it was good for me to socialize, yeah, you know, to to make sure. new with connections people with people who is sharing the interest. same values yeah. uh, as me. So yeah, that was cool. What's I, your favorite meditation and your tips like? I, I gave a lot of tip my way in, in people that want to meditate, but for you, what would be your tip and your favorite meditation and, and breathing pattern? My favorite med meditation is Sahash Samadhi. It's like from Art of Living. You just, um, you just repeat in your mantra. 
uh, during the meditation. What kind of mantra? Uh, the teacher is giving you mantra uh, during the... So let's like, say you're going to say in your head, I am successful, money it's, flow easily. It's, it's in, it's in uh, Hindi, you know, so it's... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a small word, like... I, I couldn't, I couldn't. Uh, He's saying it, yeah. and you're repeating. Yeah, like like repeating, and also I can meditate just with music. And I think that people sometimes they confused with all this meditation things, like yeah. what you have to do, sitting or standing or lying, lying down. Like it's a little bit tricky to get into it, but you can meditate like ten seconds or thirty seconds when you're sitting in your car or wherever, yeah. it doesn't matter. And I'm teaching meditation in Russian. And for Russian people, it's really big, cha like, it's game changer for them because like, uh, it's so easy, so you yeah. just can can breathe. And also I'm doing, I, I think you're familiar with this, the Bastrika when you're doing like this. Oh, the Tony yeah, Robbins. Yeah, the Tony method, Robbins like... things, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you, yeah, yeah, you train the energy. Mood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and also I'm doing the square breath when you breathe in, like, inhale in four. Uh, and releasing in four. Yeah, releasing in four. And, and you also started from the pal, root pal chakra mm -hmm. to the top to, of your pineal gland? Right. Okay. So, guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, you're going to contract your belly. So it's the one I always say, it's like, you breathe in, contract your uh, abdominal muscle. And the fact that you're going to focus on this, contracting, seeing like a light ball or whatever you want to see uh, the energy coming up to your pineal gland then you're gonna breathe in four you're gonna imagine this light coming up it's gonna be four seconds then you're gonna hold it for four or you can hold it for two whatever feels good and then you're gonna release it in four and when you release it you see the energy going back down the fact that your brain's gonna focus on this you you're not gonna think about what you're doing tomorrow what did your mm -hmm. eggs do to you and stuff like that so it's you're a good focused. way yeah you're, you're focused, focused on, on your breath. the energy up and down and at one point you'll do it without noticing and yeah i think that's the key yeah and also the horseshoe breath uh with teacher with where i was teaching it um like a couple years ago um it's like you imagine like here is a horseshoe so you're doing like and then back <laughs> yeah yeah and then you focus on your breath and trying to make it on the same pace i think you're not thinking about yeah uh different things like here and there and also i know this like explanation of meditation it's like your iphone you know you just need to um close all the application which you were using during the day so meditation is just like a cleaning process. You're yeah. just doing this with your iPhone and with <laughs> your mind. Like, yeah, and things like thoughts, they're coming, mm -hmm. coming up and then going away and you're just absorbing it. Yeah, at the beginning, that's what you want to do. Just focus on your breath. Then when you're getting better and better, you can start uh, combining meditation with intention. So gratitude, feeling of love. So... You can journal, you can set your goal before your meditation, you can also read your goal, you can say a few things like money, flow easily in my life, I am abundant, I am grateful, I mm -hmm. am like loved, like stuff like that. And then with those thoughts, you go into your meditation to bring intention. But if every, like, it's like a diet, it's like nutrition, you don't want to start everything with one day and I cut, yeah. I, I go vegan and no, no, like start with focusing on your mind and then add some stuff, some layer. Yeah, and you know you could be um, you could be wrong with your goals because you couldn't you know um, I mean sometimes you could be wrong with your goals but you never could be wrong with your intention. Exactly, like if you're feeling those elevated emotion, gratitude, love, like sometimes life, as you said, is not gonna bring you what you want because it know what you needs and what what you. Um, what you're kind of manifesting. Mm -hmm. So like, like you said, your goal would be wrong and then you're like, oh, life is not happening for me. But then suddenly so something super amazing comes and you're like, wow, I, 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 wow, I didn't expect that. And it's just life's bring you when you're ready. Yeah, that's true. And sometimes uh, life's bringing you something and you couldn't give it. I mean, you, you couldn't take it yeah. uh, because you're not ready. Exactly. So, I mean, universe is smarter than you for sure, <laughs> and if, than you, than me, than all yeah. the listeners. Yeah. So you have to That's cool. be conscious. So you have a LT habits, you eat LT food, you meditate, you do, uh, what, what's the rest of your morning routine? Uh, to be honest, I don't want to be the, the person who is like, yeah, I have morning routine. To be honest, uh, I'm working during the morning because of time difference with Russia. Mm -hmm. So, but um, at least I'm drinking warm, like a 
big glass of water at the at the morning. Yeah. And um, I have an evening routine before I'm going to bed. I am um, just have a rec- recaption of the day, uh, and I always like put some gratitude uh, to myself. I praise myself, and also I praise the universe, like for all the things I have, for all the things I don't have, and for all the things I would have yeah. like, soon. So, so, so yeah, and mm. also I'm doing this small. I have a small routine before I uh, get some food. I like send some blessing, yeah, f- for the food. Yeah, and when we are on the same table with my friends, we're doing it and like gratitude. out loud. Yeah, it's that's cool. You can always talk out loud, guys. It's it's good to do it. And and yes, Lily is very successful. Congratulations! You just bought a Lambo. Yeah, that's cash true. <laughs> on top of it. And uh, but um, she comes from nothing. And one thing I respect, and I, I was gonna change my name for charity because she's giving like a hundred thousand a month to charity. So I was like, this is my new name. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but I, I respect that. Like. Money is energy and you understood it and you're ready to give back and you're not really attached to money. Yes, it's cool that you have nice fancy apartment, nice Lambo, nice all of that, but you're doing action and you're sending back and giving back and, and, and I appreciate that from you. You are full of gratitude and you live by it. Like, I don't know many people that are ready to give 100,000 a month. I mean, I'm, de- I'm doing usually 10%, you know, so if I earn one, like a couple months ago, we made a million in month in one month. It was our like record um, for, for our team. So I've made like 100. Usually it's less than 100. Yeah. So it's probably five, six, uh, f- I mean, uh, 50, 50 60,000. 60, it's still a lot yeah, of money. It's still a lot, sh- for sure. And I mean, for me, it's about... I have a nice gift from universe, you know, and I really appreciate it. So I have to share it from the abundant state. Um, I'm doing charity mostly in Africa because I love Africa and also That's in cool. Russia for sure and, and in you, US. You choose whatever is good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, across the, the, the world, but mostly in Africa because when I've seen the kids who mm-hmm. is like, go every day they're walking at least like two miles to get or the more water. to get the water and to get yeah. to the school, you know, and they have no shoes, no like clothes, like normal clothes. Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to, <laughs> I have to do something for them because I love to travel across Africa in a fancy way, you know, with the nice lodges, safaris <laughs> and all this stuff. Yeah. But still, I want to share something. The abundance. Yeah, you're, the abundance. You're spreading the energy. I respect that a lot. And also for the animals. I mean, uh, a lot of people, they're trying to kill animals, especially the rare, rare species. Yeah, like the rhino. and Yeah, the, like yeah. the rhino, like the elephants for their horns, for yeah. their... Now they have to cut them, like the white rhino. I think they're, I think it's done. Or there was like a few hundred, like two, three hundred left or something. And it's, they, they it's had to really cut the horns amount. so they don't kill them. But then it's like the rhino needs it to defend himself. So it's kind of stupid. Or I think they were putting them a fake one. I don't know exactly, but it's so sad to see. And they kill the tiger. There's a few the tiger, tiger that doesn't yeah, exist. The tiger, yeah, the cheetahs also. Yeah. And, and they're doing it just for no reason. You know, when you're... When you are on safari, you can watch the animals in a in a like wild nature. Yeah. And it's, it's so stupid because you can see the leopard, for example, uh, like one meter or like a couple of, ten foot from you. You know, ten ten feet. And what's the reason to kill? It's it's so easy. You know, you just push the the gun and that's yeah. it. Like we don't you, think about consequence when we damage animal, planet, and stuff, but. In the future, it's gonna come that people realize. For sure, we're yeah. One. So I, I, I am trying to save the the rare animals and That's across cool. across the the planet because I think that it's important. And also, like, um, I'm helping the vets from the uh, war here in U.S. to, you know, all the a lot of homeless people. It's previous they they were they soldiers. Yeah, yeah, they have mental issues the after P- PTSD. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, right. So that's the program who is helping them to yeah. be, um, to get rid of it. You I've know? seen a, a big documentary on that, that um, shroom and uh, psychedelic and, and, and in microdose help a lot all of the soldier. Like it's been proven now, there's studies, so it's, it's coming. Like 
we need to help people because for sure it's it's not the good yeah, way. Yeah, at least also breathing, yeah. breathing techniques could help them, and also like psychotherapy could help them. Just discussing all this yeah. like crazy stuff. Yeah, it's hard stuff. for sure. Yeah, because and also when you kill the the people when you're like w w when you was in, uh, in the war war yeah, yeah you you killing the people and your brain like you have shift on your brain and you could be like really amazing bear person because you like pushed your limits during the war during the all this mm -hmm. like crazy stuff but usually people like get really upset and go down and like use a lot of drugs or alcohol so to numb it down which mm -hmm. is not the right way yeah because they yeah. have some anxi anxiety I have friends or... like that that had like a lot of trouble with it and and it's sad to see because it's always subconscious so even if they don't want to take the drug even if it, it's like the subconscious behavior is stronger than it it's like the food was for you it's like yeah yeah but i mean i, I i've made seven years of psychotherapy you know <laughs> so it's it wasn't like that yeah. it wasn't overnight success to be honest it was it's like never seven, like people see seven years and still like a couple of days ago i had a session with my psychotherapist but because i was i feel like burned out my yeah. account was banned so i was it it wasn't like you know the crazy session when yeah. i was crying no i was like okay we have to discuss it but like wh what was the point when I made this the, the wrong decision, you know, yeah. just not to follow my heart, not to follow my intention, just like push me through the like sales or whatever. Yeah. Like, let's discuss this. So yeah, it's like never ending story like with your body, the same with your mental health. Yeah, I was talking with a friend recently, I think two days ago, and she was like, but how long did it take you to change? Well, I don't know. I started this when I was 14. Then I had, uh, I, I had a life coach at uh, nine, uh, 19, 20, 21, like I was already seeing Tony Robbins going to event. Plus I had a life coach that I was investing money. I was, mm. I was not making that much. I mean, I was making decent money, but I was already in the knowledge that I needed to invest in myself. So I was training, doing everything. But as you said, there's always a key missing component that your mental need to be. And now I can say that since the last two years, that's really when everything shifted for me. And that's when I became a lot more successful because I didn't understand everything, but I've been doing it still for 10, 12 years and even more. So people are like, oh, you're lucky this and that. No, like I probably have done, no, nah, not probably. I've done more research than any doctor at school for sure. Like in terms of if they, you take their four years of school, mm -hmm. I did more research in the last 15 years than that for sure for, for sure, sure for sure for with sure. all the documentary the research i do minimum two three hours of research every single day on topics water psychedelic um subconscious mind neuroscience like meditation everything and and you do too yeah i'm i'm trying to learn a lot i mean yeah. uh last year um during the COVID, i finished Stanford and Ox um, not Oxford, Oxford by Harvard School. Um, it was like online courses, but it was good for me because for Russian people, you know, like I was I was studying at, at Harvard and I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That sounds so cool. Yeah, not 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 a school like here, but yeah, it's good. It's Harvard is yeah. like the best university. It's still cool as long as you do it for the right reason and you and and, and you're happy doing it and you're learning. Fuck, be my yeah, guest. that was interesting. <laughs> also, I'm doing online education, so it was like some some kind of uh, comparing my courses and my like online uh, products. Structure, yeah. yeah, the structure, the some 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 key points, um, all this stuff. So yeah, that was interesting. That's nice. And also, I know that you you did a lot of like um, seminar, Tony Robbins. Like re recently, you you purchased something yeah. like a big. Uh, yeah, seminar. it was Donny Abstain, but I, I decided to go the other month, but I still want to go there. It's Tony Robbins Energy Couch Coach. Uh, also, I have a like a mentor, a, like life coach. Um, so even if you're successful, just as people course, you know, yeah, even if Lily is successful and crazy money and, and multi-millionaire and it's just growing every year, she still invests a lot of money. Like instead of investing a thousand, two thousand, now the course was twenty six thousand. Like, and she buy courses like that, so it's a never ending. It's not. You remember when you talked about your workout? Like, oh, when I achieve my goal, I stop everything. I stop training. That's what happened to people. Same thing with yeah, business. That's true. They reach a point and they're like, mm. but if you were doing something that brought you here, you can't stop. It's like client that dropped me after six months, and I'm like, 
What? They're like, now I know how to do it. No, you know, because I tell you how to do it. And, and I'm here and I, I'm pushing you. And sometimes they gain back the weight. Like mm-hmm. if you've been doing stuff to be successful, that's what you need to keep doing. And I appreciate that. You're always learning and always going to validate some stuff and, and learn new experience. Yeah, I mean, uh, also it's really helpful. And now when like time is going so fast, like really, guys, it's faster than like 10 years ago. <laughs> and we had like access to all the information and it's pretty cheap. You, I mean, uh, the same course like online, which I'm doing like for 26 grand, you can do it for like 800 probably a month. Yeah. So it's 26 times cheaper at <clears throat> least. So that's if good. If you're committed, because it's not, I know that for a lot of people, they see it as a waste of time or they're not going to do it. But us, we just make time for it. And if you do, and if you read a lot, like two, three books a month and stuff like that, like you can find the cheaper. The knowledge is there. It's just yeah, and also you know all this amazing podcasts. You can listen it during the commute trip. Yeah. To your work or wherever. In the plane. Yeah, on a plane. I love to. Re- I I couldn't find the time during the day to read. It's hard for me f- to to be to focused. Focus? Yeah. yeah, but I read a lot during the 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 flights, and I fly a lot. I mean, I mean at <laughs> yeah. least like four or five times. A, I mean, f- f- at least four times a month. So I had. <laughs> I am um, like last last time I read like nice it was it was non it was fiction book actually yeah. and I was read it during the Africa trip and after that yeah, yeah and also I mean that's amazing and also you can uh, start it uh, get, I mean you can get some courses get some courses and start it reading faster you what know? is your favorite book and favorite um, kind of seminar that you did or um, yeah uh, my favorite book probably it's Randy Pausch, book about the dream number one, something like that. I was reading it in Russia like 10 years ago. That was an amazing story about the guy. He was a CEO of Electronic Arts and he got ca- cancer and he was um, write this book during he, he, he was he was going through the process, you know, he was dying actually. When he wrote the book. When, when he wrote the book, yeah. And he described all this like relationship with his wife, which was amazing with his kids, all his dreams. And you you know when you're reading this book, you're like, okay, okay, hopefully he will he will get alive, you know, he, he will be uh, good, but no. At the, at the very end, he's dying. <laughs> and you were, I mean, I was crying as, as crazy because it's so real. And after this book, you appreciate your life and your lifetime more, like 10 times more. So I love this book, Randy Pausch. And my favorite course, I mean, probably Tony Robbins was the probably the first one. And it was a game changer. Which one? Sure. Uh, un- unleash UPV, the power with Yeah, yeah. UPW. Um, Did you and, walk on fire? You walked on fire. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, I was doing, I mean. Would you I do was, it now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it now. Oh, it's so crazy. Yeah, and, and it, it was so cool for the energy, for all this, you oh know. Oh, my God. I remember the first day. Like, it's funny because I know for a fact that you can walk on fire and unburn your feet. But if you ask me to do it now without the energy of the whole room and everybody uplifting you, you're like your brain thinks too much and that's what happened mm-hmm. in life you're like get caught in the moment and and i remember i was like well cold moss cold moss and i was walking <laughs> on it like it's 2000 something degree you would say to do it now it'd be like oh man maybe tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> on on tony, tony robbins course everybody is jumping you know and dancing yeah and i lost my keys and i was like okay uh my partner he is he was abroad in germany and I was here in, in the U.S. Mm-hmm. and we just moved to the new apartment and I had no idea what is the manager uh, phone number. And it was like 11 p.m. <laughs> I am in downtown close to the Staples Center when, and I was like, okay, what should I do? And I was nervous for a little and then I was like, Tony Robbins said, like, it's all on, in your mind. So you decide what you what, what do you think and what, what do you feel. And then I found out, like, okay, I still have my money. I can go to the hotel. I can do, do this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then my partner, he woke up at 5 a.m. there in Germany. <laughs> he sent me the number, the phone number of our landlord. And I asked him, and he was so nice to me. And he was, like, pick me up and uh, bring, brought me to the apartment. So I was like, okay, 
That's yeah. good. Uh, like the results is already there. <laughs> yeah, it's like don't panic because there's going to be events on your daily life all the time and people often panic. You get a car accident, you do something, but the event already happened to you. You already lost your key. There's nothing. You cry, mm -hmm. it's not going to change the situation. For sure. So you always have two choices. Either you're positive or either you're negative and you dwell on yourself and you're like, oh, pity me. Oh, I have such a hard life. And sometimes, like somebody was telling me like, Oh, but but you don't know what happened to me, and and I had hard life and this and that. I'm like, so did I. Like, so this person and and this person and and there's people worse than you that made it good. Like, everybody has their things that happen to them on a daily basis, and they make it through. So when something happened, just breathe and realize that it's fine, and you're gonna go through it. Yeah, and also I think and you know, always thinking that victim never get win. You know. Yeah. Never. Yeah, for sure, for if sure. If you're a victim, you couldn't uh, be <laughs> the best. Exactly. That's so the best victim. You, to manifest, you need to be on a good vibration. And, and if, you're, if you start to panic and you're like, I'm never going to find them this and that, of course not. Because you, that's the energy you send to the universe. And at the end of the day, everything is going to come and it's going to be good if you trust yourself. And that's what you did. So that's cool. Um, if you would have like, one advice to give to your younger self or people that are listening, like, um, what would it be? Um, for for sure, for me, the most important thing was to to, to start work on yourself and do it with some commitment in all the areas, you know, with money, with my business, with my body, with my mental health. So because before I was like, I was the seeker. I was trying yeah. to find some clue, but I always wanted to skip the road, you know, <laughs> to find some... Let's skip the journey, yes. the process, and just, that's what people just want. Just get the results, you know, like, how can I do it faster, 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 yeah. here and there. But sometimes it, not sometimes, but usually it couldn't be like this. It's not overnight success. It's the journey. Exactly. So f I definitely uh, say, say that you have to be committed and like do it step by step you know don't yeah. push yourself like don't dive too deep even in um, even into the uh, spiritual things because when you learn more you find out that you uh, you know nothing yeah <laughs> and that's fine you know you're, you're just like here and this on this amazing planet just to learn to find out your that's why we came here that's why we don't have the memory of the uh, experience lives, and stuff yeah. yeah and everything's happening at the same time it's because we came to learn we came to beat the matrix so if you were coming with all the knowledge it would be too easy to beat the game <laughs> now you have to learn what you know but what you don't know like yeah you it's, know it's it like but you game, don't know you know that's why you should always trust your gut because your gut your subconscious minds know it for sure mm -hmm. know it before you yeah for every sure. time you're not listening you're like oh, should have listened all the red flags all the uh, <laughs> uh, it's like it, it's like you hear the answer. Like sometimes I'm doing something, I hear it in my voice. I'm like, oh, it can't be that easy. And then I do the opposite. I'm like, fuck, I fucking, I knew it. Yeah, and that's interesting because for me, that was so easy to buy the car because before I was searching for it for two years and this, I was like, really? It's, it's easy like that. I just go into the bank, like put some money there and they send in me the car, really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hopefully <clears throat> I'll get into the days. And that was amazing because before I was trying to push, you the know? Car, yeah. Yeah, and now it's like Same like thing this. for my apartment. I was trying to force it and then when I just let it go, I was like, you, it, it's actually a friend of mine that's super uh, like us in meditation and spirituality. She was like, Mike, just fucking write it down on a book in front of you, what you want and what is the emotion linked to, the, to every single, the kitchen, the room, the apartment in general. And then I lay it down in the book. I text it to her. She's like, put more intention into it. I'm like, oh, it's fucking intention. I'm not, I, this, I'm not good with it. Like, um, I noticed that a woman have easier um, than me with that. And that's where she kind of advised me sometimes like, mm -hmm. no, nah, you need more, more of the feminine energy in it. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then I put it down and two weeks later I found the apartment. I was like, yeah, amazing. this is it. And I didn't even want to see the apartment because I went to see another complex. Everything was there. I, I was like thinking about getting it. And I, I looked at the girl, I'm like, oh, you have something with the view. She's like, oh yeah, I got another building with a penthouse in the view. I'm like, let's go see it. I enter in the apartment. I'm like, oh, this is it. I want it. How much? And then that's it. It was so easy. And this apartment, I searched for six months. 
it was more than six months on the market. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't see it. But now it's like she, I, the girl was like, yeah, it's there. And, and, and same thing when, you know, when you say like, enjoy the process and the journey and um, you and uh, other successful of my client, it's like when we start, you never ask me how much weight I'm going to lose the first month. And her, she wants to gain muscle and she, ne she didn't ask me, oh, oh, when am I going to look good? And that's something that successful people, they know it's not like that. A lot of people, when they ask me, so focus on the money and focus on the result. When I'm going to lose 30 pounds, I'm not the coach for you because you mm -hmm. start with the wrong intention at the beginning. Like, um, it's like if you take session with a, a life coach and you're like, how long do you think it's going to take before I change? <laughs> well, fuck, everybody's different. Yeah, like, and also it's your responsibility. You know, yeah. it's not just about your coach. And it took it, us years, like for the physique and for the mental. You think if two months, yet yeah, in two months I'm going to make it. No, I want to do it the right way. And also it's about commitment because yeah. um, a lot of a lot of guys and girls, they uh, they are coming to my um, to my psychotherapist and like, okay, I want the same results as Lily. <laughs> Now work, yeah, work <laughs> on me, and so and she was like, no, 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 she was really committed. She was, she was there like every single Thursday, no matter what, and I was traveling across the the across the world, you know. Yeah. Every single Thursday, I was there, like no matter what. Sometimes it was 5 a.m. You know, I was in New York. My shrink is you were in doing Russia. Zoom. Yeah. yeah, we were doing it online. Sometimes it was like offline in real life, but I mean, every single Thursday, I was there. And for, for one year, then it was like probably once, uh, two weeks or whatever. Yeah. But still, yeah, it's about commitment. And also, it's no, I have a rule, like no drama. Because oh, before, oh <laughs> before, I was really dramatic person, you know, like oh, drama in relationship, drama yeah. at the work. And now it's no drama. And all my, all my, all my employees at this, like they are on the same way. I was like, no, guys. It's not, it doesn't work here. Yeah. No drama. Like what's <clears throat> going on? What, what did you do to solve this problem? But no, like, Lily, yeah. we're dying, blah, blah, blah. Because like before I have a marketing director and she was like really dramatic person. And when we decided not to work together, she decided to quit. It, it was like a game changer too. Because yeah. all the guys now, they're so focused on the results, so focused on the solutions, not, yeah. not into the drama. Not problem-oriented, but solution-oriented. Yeah, solution but solution-oriented. And of course, still, we have a lot of things like, okay, if one day before the sales started, our account is banned by, like, with no reason almost. And I was like, okay, you have to call this guy. You have to do this. Okay, yeah. let's move Focus all the content. Focus on the solution. Yeah, here. And they're like, okay, yeah, we are working. We still have like three more accounts. We are good. Yeah. So, and, but, oh, we are dying. Yeah, oh my exactly. gosh. And we, we talked about it like often. It's like, you have the same vision of me, uh, of even in your personal life. It's like me, uh, like the four agreement, after I read the book, I started out applying it all the time. It's like, I choose myself. I self-love myself before anyone else on this planet. And I'm here for my journey. I'm yes. experiencing my life. So if something is too complicated, if someone invite me somewhere, I don't want to go. It's not matching my energy right now. I don't feel, I just say no. Learn to say no to respect yourself. You said that we're going. Of course, you have to respect other people's time. You can't always cancel. But if your friends are your friend, they're going to understand that sometime this guy's, okay, I'm not coming tonight for dinner or I'm not going to this just because I don't feel like going and they shouldn't take it personal. Like my friend, when I cancel, they're like, okay, cool. Like it's no big deal. Shit happened. There was a situation. I'm not going. I have to like just do other stuff and that's it. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, for other people, it could like sounds selfish or whatever, mm -hmm. but like when you change your view vision, you're going to. Uh, gonna find out that it's like more he is healthier than yeah. trying to push yourself into the something, then feel like really upset because you you went somewhere you you wouldn't, and I mean that's crazy usually, and and that's yeah. how drama started, you know. You had some vision, and other people had some different vision, and you you're not on the same page. Exactly. Yeah, and you started like. Arguing. Then you might need to change your surrounding. Like if people never understand, they always give you shit or they always make drama out of situation like that. Maybe you don't have the right surrounding. Guys. So That's be true. careful who you surround yourself with. If you have successful people and people that are aligned, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's like crab bucket theory, you know, uh, when 
uh, when all the crabs on the same bucket and you put it on a fire and started boiling, um, they, had, they still have some um, opportunity to get out of it. But other crabs, they try to... They try, to, they, they grab them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so because the, same with, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the same with the friends sometimes. Yeah. Which, or or with, with the people you are considering as a friend, but they are not. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, what would be like um, a failure that became a success? Like that when we talk about like being positive and, and stuff, it's like sometimes there's failure that happened to us that if we just trusted life, it adds something bigger coming for us, but you need to shut down the level, you need to succeed, and then you're ready for the next. That's interesting, yeah. That's uh, definitely about my American dream. So um, when I, 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 my first intention was to, to go to US and um, get some um, English as a second language uh, courses, and I applied to the college. So I applied to the college and I came to their uh, U.S. Uh, embassy in Russia and applied for visa and they canceled it. I was like, really? And I was, I mean, I was almost engaged. I had a car, blah, blah, blah there. So I had no intention to go to U.S. and stay here for sure. I mean, I swear. I was like, okay, I'll apply again. I applied again. Cancel, cancellation again. I was like, Shit, <laughs> what should I do? And then we were traveling with my mom across the Europe. That was a nice trip. Um, like, it was my first, probably my first, like, fancy trip across the Europe with my mom, like, five stars, hotels, um, nice, I don't know, like, helicopters, planes, and all this stuff. And we were, I, I, I remember that I was on a Capo de Roca, it's in Portugal, uh, the nice place with the um, rocks and the like mountain and the um, like ocean and my mom asked like do you like it and i was like yeah it's almost same uh, the same beauty as like uh palos verdes in california that that time i found out that i want to go to us and then i came here just as a as a tourist and decided to stay and found out the the the, the the way, you know, I, I was going to the lawyer and made all the process, but so that was good that they, I was like declined two times, you know, because probably it, it, it gonna be the other story. Probably I went to Dubai and doing like here and there. Yeah, so that was good. And also, I mean, <laughs> a couple of years ago, I sold my Ethereum's uh, to my ex-partner. <laughs> And now I'm like, okay, <laughs> probably I have to be more conscious and more and smarter about cryptocurrency. Yeah, we talked yeah. about it in the car. It's okay, I'll yeah. help you with it. <laughs> Crypto is the way I was saying it six years ago. People didn't listen, but I mean, you have to take risk. And a lot of people like, of course, I had my failure. I lost over a hundred thousand in crypto. That would worth eight hundred thousand. But I'm still investing now again, and it's like. Sometimes you have failure. Maybe I wasn't ready to be millionaire back then, and that's why life took it away from me. Mm -hmm. Because with the crypto I had, I would be millionaire. the long-time investment. Yeah. It's not about the short I time. wanted the short money and this and that, and maybe life was like, ah, you're not there. Let me fucking scam you, your, all your Bitcoin. And I was like, what? I just did bankruptcy. Be, be, <laughs> be nice with me. No, I had to work again. Uh, so, yeah, it's like sometimes life knows that you're not ready and... It's, it's taking it, but then it's going to give you a lot more when you are. So that's beautiful. Um, I know you're, you're a killer in, in, in work. Like, um, what advice like, would you give people in order to best manage their time for business? And if you feel unfocused or overwhelmed, what do you do? Because like, mm -hmm. you work a lot and you have uh, not a work routine, like uh, let's say a... I don't know the word in English, but let's say, let's call it work routine mm -hmm. that you do and that makes you successful. Mm -hmm, got it. Um, I mean, the first advice is to learn a lot, like to learn from other people, to learn from your competitors, to, to learn from your employees, from everyone, you know, because since I was a kid, I, I started work when I was 17. So I was trying to get all the information I could. So that that's my like way to to live my life, especially in work, and also to be not 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 to burn out. I'm trying to manage my like work and my um, 
like vacation time and i'm doing like really hard vacation in a good way like a lot of uh, a lot of ex- new experiences yeah, that's cool i love to so travel. that's your way to refocus like yeah you invest in travel and 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 in it's yourself. like recha- recharging you and know recharging you have a lot of new ex- uh, new experiences new uh things to see different countries different cultures so for me it's really really it recharge um, you yeah and it's recharge in work do you work with um do you go with the flow or do you put a calendar that hey i have to do this today it's four hour work that's what i do you know i i'm more me and my team we are more goal oriented i i said with guys i don't care if you will work like four hours a day or eight hours a day or ten or one i don't care i just need this to be done that's it if you want to go to i don't know to spa during the day you could do this i just need this work it's to done be at done the end of the day. yeah but okay so you work with so like the same here amount of work this need to be done do it in whatever time but this has to be done today uh for example if if it's gonna be done today i have to i mean i'm not a deadline person i don't like to push myself with the deadlines so um I'm more not about the, um, uh, you know, I don't like the structure structure uh, in a crazy way. I mean, you're more like so go with the flow. I'm, I'm trying but to this go with to the floor. Done. Yeah. And that has to be done. And also, we of course, we have like some calendar, but it's not crazy. crazy. You know, we okay. still have managed to yeah, change more something. More like me. Like, I'm not that good with it. Like when it's too. too because but you I know sometimes some. you have some opportunities and you want to push it uh between the fixed uh yeah. things yeah so i mean usually we are doing good because um i mean my last my last thing i saw um i had no idea i i had the image of the course but i had no idea that i gonna do it so like so soon mm-hmm. you know so i was like okay i'm ready we're gonna do this like cognitive modeling of the future and it's like sounds like crazy in, in english and <laughs> also for russian people it's like what <laughs> yeah but that was pretty successful we made um around i think around six hundred thousand in a day on, yeah in two days in That's two not days bad. i mean yeah it's, it's thousand in a day i mean uh, 600 someday i wake up like yeah. that with six hundred thousand more <laughs> so i go back to bed and i was dreaming that's no. good yeah so that was that was cool and before we had some schedule and for the um for the fall also my account is banned now so i decided to you have do a break. two weeks of break yeah. yeah two weeks of break so you listen to your body and your mind when you yeah. need a little break and i was a little bit burned out yeah so i was i want to Recharge myself. Yeah, I know. So I'm waiting for my Lambo. I'm waiting for my dog because yeah, I bought a, a dog. Frenchy. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be like new impressions, a lot of That's stuff cool. to do. Happy yeah, for you. and then <laughs> we gonna and also my team. They are on a vacation too. That's They're not nice. working now. So a little time off for everyone. Yeah, so everybody will Recharge. get some some new experiences during this. I think and put all the efforts after that on our work that's cool so a little recap um before we go with the last word so your life was doing okay you were doing decent when you were not lt not focusing on your mind then you became really successful when you started investing because it's not a waste of time it's an investment in your health nutrition what you put in your body what you put in your mind people that you're surrounded with so all that really really changed your life and made you extremely successful and i know that you're like me in terms of uh we talked about akashic record and tons mm-hmm. of other like higher level spirituality that a lot of people don't do this so akashic record guys it's like the um, library of the universe like your consciousness every it's it's where everything is stuck like you no know, stored yeah and, stored. and all you can go and, and watch it uh it takes I tried it. It takes a super high level of meditation. It's it doesn't come like that, but you do those type of stuff too. It's like this is next level. So it's not like you're just you're putting time into everything in order to make your life the life that you have. So I I'm proud of you. I mean, it's 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 nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Akasha Crackers is it was a new thing from this year and I had a I mean, a personal um education from the girl who is doing it. 
And for me, it was like, oh my gosh, I felt so powerful. And <laughs> that is so good because, I mean, I'm not doing it for all the people, you know. I, I'm doing it for my friends mostly, or for, for the close circle, you know. But when you see the difference and when you see all the results and when you see that the guys are getting all that you've seen in this, like, uh, we, do, we do it for me guys. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I was like, oh, my gosh, like last time I've seen the, um, the Instagram stories from a friend and she was speaking the new apartment. And that was exactly the same view as I've seen in the Akashic Records. And I was like, Oh my gosh, Paulina! Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, um, so that 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 is that's cool and definitely it's a, definitely is a gift from universe, you know, yeah. to get this, to get this skill, to guard it. I mean, that's amazing. exactly. But there's a lot of work behind because, guys, I'm, I consider myself kind of a advanced. I'm not a professional meditator. I'm not a, but I've been doing it for years and I work on myself and. The more I do it, the more I, I can go into those um, gamma brainwave and, and all that stuff. And Akashic Record was still a level that I was working on because you don't achieve it the first time. It's like anything else. Like they give you the knowledge and the way to do it. But then you're like, OK, it's not coming. You can, you can use a, your feminine energy, you know, yeah, because it's, like, it's about just release yeah. it and be in a present moment. And that's and it. And then it, you see you're the image, you're downloading it, yeah. stuff. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm waiting for it. It's not coming. And I know I have to practice more and it's funny. And yeah. And also for me, it was helpful. I was on a flight, you know, when you're on a flight, sometimes something download into you. Yeah. Like in normal life, even for the, the regular people, they started to like doing notes or something like that. And and it was like a couple, I think, think three months ago. And I just started to realize a lot of things about our friend. And I started, I was on with the Wi-Fi and I started to like talking to Paulina like, Oh, what's going on with my brain? <laughs> that yeah. is so unusual. Yeah, and she was like, okay. Like, it's, <laughs> slow down. Yeah, yeah slow it's down. a lot of information that's, that you need to that's, assimilate. That's the new level of Jumanji game, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's nice. So, yeah, that's um, interesting. So, thanks for coming. If you have a last word that you want to tell people, a uh, favorite mantra, quote, or anything you want to tell them before you go, and um, if you want to tell them you're so... Um, Social, yeah, not your, like your <laughs> social yeah. media handle and, and the name that they can find you. Like right now, we said that it's off for two weeks, but by the time the podcast release, it's going to be back on. So if you want to yeah. tell them. My Instagram is lilia.aspen. Um, so you can find me there and I, I'd love to talk to you guys. Um, and the last words, it's to be more conscious with the other people uh, and treat them as you want to be treated and also trying to avoid the drama push the drama away because abundance uh, like is not about the drama at all. So if you want to, to, to get like abundance and nice lifestyle and all this stuff, it's not about drama. It's about probably hard working and to be committed, but not about all the so like ups and downs. Yeah. Um, and also when you're on a plane, you know, you have some turbulence during um, the flight, the, not the flight, but during the take take off. Mm -hmm. You have some turbulence, but then on a like on a height, uh, when you above this, uh, the, the uh, when the you above the clouds, <laughs> yeah, it's the same weather, the same temperature, and the same weather. So I wish you guys to get there, to be stable, uh, to be stable, and above the clouds, and no more turbulence, and no Love more drama. It. Well, guys, thanks for joining us. I'll see you in another episode. I was super happy to have Lily because she shared a lot of things that I do in my life, and she's successful. Um, and she made it in life, not only with money and finance and all that stuff, but she really happy person. She has good surroundings. So guys, it's not only about the money. Of course, money is a goal for people because it makes your life easier. But I want to show you that in order to be happy, successful, avoid drama and all that stuff, you need to work and invest time in your life. So yeah, this is it, guys. I'll see you in another episode. Yeah, thank you, Mikey, for <laughs> invitation. Bye.